The dummy variables can also be used for the construction of the so-called piecewise linear regressions. Piecewise linear regression, this is the model where the relationship between the dependent variable y and the independent variables x axis is a function consistent of two or more or more linear segments. And to understand this type of regression, let's have a look at some hypothetical example. Suppose some company uh, re uh, remunerates its sales representatives and it pays commission based on sales in such a manner that up to a certain level, the target a threshold level X star, there is one commission structure and beyond that level another. So after there is, let's say, sale represent, after their sale representative has reached X star level of sales, then uh, the commission structure changes and probably he or she gets paid more. In order to estimate this kind of a model, we can use the dummy variable and, for example, equation number 14. This is an example of such a model. So why this is sales commission, um, alpha this is the intercept, xi this is the volume of sales generated by the salesperson, uh, where x star this is the threshold value, the target value, which is set in advance, so probably set by the I don't know, the chief executive officer in this company. And dummy variable, uh, di, this is the dummy variable that takes the value, the value of one if x, xi is higher than the threshold value. So after the person has reached a higher sales value and is equal to zero uh, when the salesperson has not yet reached the target level where his or her sales is below the target level. And this is how this graph, uh, this how this uh, um, model looks on the graph. So up to some target level, the regression line goes, it's more flatter, so it has one slope. And after the target level, it becomes more steeper, so it has a higher slope. And let's now have a look at the interpretation of this regression. So. Uh, up to the target level, the mean sales is the following. So we know that up to the target level, the dummy variable is equal to zero. So this whole term disappears and what is left is just alpha one plus beta one xi. So this is the function for the sales commission up to the target level. And uh, the commission beyond the target level, this is the case when dummy variable is equal to one. So what we have is alpha one plus beta one xi plus beta two. So actually the whole function. And on this slide, you can see the technical, a more technical graph of the above equa equation. So alpha one, this is the initial level of commission. So when there are no sales, this is the value of commission. It is equal to alpha one. And up to the target level, um, the, the slope of the line is beta one, right? Because these, the dummy variable is equal to zero, so everything here disappears. So what is left is just alpha one plus beta one xi. Therefore, the slope of this line is just beta one. Then after the target level is reached, the dummy variable becomes one. And um, the new slope is just beta one plus beta two. So as you can see, it's steeper. So the more sales, uh, sales representative generates, the higher his or her sales commission is.